sleeping on lying postures not only impact the quality of the sleep, but it is also one of the primary causes of the spinal issues, back pains, and postural misalignment. While it is a common condition, that doesn't mean that it is insignificant. Alignment is the key. No matter what positions you are in, keeping your proper alignment of your spine is an important equation. Back pain can cause enormous costs, affecting our quality of sleep, functions of the nerves, brain cells, organs such as the heart, the lungs, the stomach, your mood, productivity and enjoyment of life and many more. Many of us are side sleepers. Ensuring your hips and your shoulders are supported can make your neck and your spine feel more comfortable. Place a pillow between your legs to prevent hips from collapsing, causing a lot of strains in your sciatica nerves, pelvis, and lower back. These will align your lower back curve. Your neck pillow should be at the right height to sustain your natural curve of your cervical length towards the head and avoid your shoulders from collapsing. If you are a back sleeper, the ideal positions for your back health is to have a pillow beneath your knees to reduce the strain and tension of your back and hips and allow your lower back to align into a natural curve. Your legs should be parallel and not spread too wide apart. Poor sleeping and lying postures not only impacts the quality of your sleep, but it is also one of the primary cause of spinal issues, back pain, and postural misalignment. So here are some movement therapies that you can adopt and perform that every day, one in the morning and one in the evening before you go to bed. Do cat and cow pose a day and keeps your back pain away. It's a great flow when a body needs a break. It just relaxes you from a day's stress. Pigeon basically works as a hip opener and forward bend, stretching your thighs, groin, your back and piriformis and your psoas muscles. Add a side opening for your spine and shoulders to re-establish a healthy torso and obliques. Change it over to the other side and so that you can fully extend, lifting your body up towards the ceiling and release your spine. Open up into the side to re-establish and open up your oblique muscles for nice internal organs release. This is one of my favorite when it comes to neck release. Just cross grip with your opposite hands and hold the two corners of your yoga stripes. Do a gentle tilting, nodding movements to give you a very deep stretch. If you don't have a yoga stripes, you can replace that with your towel and then do the opposite direction for a deep muscles release. Healthy shoulders provide a full range of motions when it comes to shoulder rotations. Just hold your yoga stripes at your shoulder distance apart. If you can't do that, just slightly wider it. Cobra suits your back pain, release your muscles and open up every part of your spinal disc. Add in a half rock in your cobra pose to suit your sciatica nerves, lower back, hip and your psoas muscles. And lastly, side stretching release the tensions from the muscles that attach to the ribs, which are the quadratus lumborum, latissimus dorsi, serratus anterior muscles, and those obliques. Alright, rest well, stay home, stay safe. See you again, bye!